Hey everybody, hello, hello. I'm Ellen Lumpkin Brown and welcome to Sew It Workshop. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little cactus for your desk. It never needs any watering and we're gonna make it with a needle and thread. So easy, so fun. This is gonna be a sew along. So that means I'll be showing you all of the steps and then as we go, I'll put up this sign here that says time to stop and stitch and then you can sew the next steps and we'll come back together and we'll continue. So if you are working along with me, then by the time you've finished the video, you will have stitched the project. The video itself is going to take about 45 minutes or so. Um, but of course, if you're interrupting each time to sew or to stuff or whatever the step is, it will take you longer to actually finish the project. You can look through the whole thing at once, um, or you can go step by step as you'd like. So I am so excited. Let's get started. Hi again. So now as we get started, I'd just like to go over the different um, supplies that you'll need in order to make the project. Okay, so for a little cactus garden, um, of course at first you'll need a couple of colors of felt. You'll need one um, felt sheet that is 9 inches by 12 inches, which is the standard size of felt that you can get at any craft store. So you need one of those in green or whatever color you want your cactus to be. And then you need a scrap of some other color to be your flower. Okay. So you just need a teeny bit of that. You'll need some scissors that can cut felt and cloth. If you only have paper scissors though, don't worry. You can still use those, but um, the cutting will just go a little bit slower. Okay, you'll need some embroidery floss or craft cord. Either one is fine um, to do the sewing. You'll also need, um, it, depending on how you like your um, little prickers to, to look at the end, either some regular or heavy duty thread, um, or you can do those with craft cord as well. Let's see, you're also going to need a needle, of course, and you want to get an embroidery needle that has a big eye so that the embroidery floss or craft cord will fit through it. Okay, and then you'll need a little bit of stuffing. This is polyfill stuffing. You can get this at any craft store. Um, it's not hard to find at all. But if you don't have any, don't worry. I'm going to show you as we get to that step a way to just use old plastic bags that you get from the market or from Walmart, from the grocery store. Um, to You can use these as stuffing as well. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. I think that's actually all. You don't need a lot to make this project. It goes together really quick. So let's get started. Okay, there actually is one more thing that I want to tell you. There are written instructions here to make the project and they follow along with this video. And in the um, in the instructions on the last page, and they're, they're illustrated, they're nice, um, but on the last page you're going to find the actual pattern for three sizes of the cactus. And I'm going to make this intermediate size right here. And so I'm going to begin by removing this page. You would print it out from your computer, remove this page, and we're going to cut out the pieces that we need. So that's what you'll see next. Okay, here we are. Here are our instructions. And I said that they're fully illustrated. Okay, But on the last page, we have the pattern pieces. So you're going to remove that page and cut out the size cactus that you want to make. So I'm going to make the middle size cactus. So I'm just going to cut that out by cutting on the solid line, okay, like that. And you'll see on the pattern piece, it tells you that we're going to cut three pairs of these, okay. And then the second thing that I need is the medium-sized flower piece. 
So I'll go ahead and cut that out as well. Again, just cutting on the solid line and not worrying about being too exact. Close is close enough. And just come around, okay? And then cut off this little extra right there. Okay. Okay, so now we have our pattern cut and the 12 by 9 inch piece of felt folded in half. Right, there's the other end of it. And now we're going to transfer the pattern to the felt. And this is really easy to do. Um, you're just going to take something to mark with. It can be a Sharpie or um, chalk. I'm going to use a paint pen here, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, and you're just, we're just going to trace around the cactus, and we're going to do it three times so that we'll end up having three pairs of the cactus part. Okay, so you just will glide around the outside. Okay, and then cross at the bottom. And then one more. Okay. And don't worry, um, just like everything else about being too exact, just, you know, you want to get sort of close. And then the last one. Okay. And the main thing now, you just want to be sure that as you trace on here, that what you have traced is actually covering two pieces of felt. So always check because like, look here, where this piece is cut a little bit crooked from the one on top. So I might sew right along here and think I was sewing two pieces, but I wasn't. Okay, so you just wanna be sure that what you draw is covering two pieces of the folded felt. Okay, so now we're actually ready to start sewing and in order to do that, we need a needle with some thread in it. And I always like to demonstrate threading a needle just to make sure that we're all on the same page. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna just move this to one side for a minute. Okay, so here's a needle, and this is a big doll making needle. I like to use it because it's really easy to see the big eye there. And here is some nice bright um, craft cord, which um, is also easy to see. So hopefully you can just see what I'm doing. So this is the sharp end of the needle. You want to avoid that if you can. <laughs> and what you do is just hold the thread near the tip and you want to cut a nice fresh tip of thread and then just push it through the eye of the needle just like that and pull. Now if you're um, if you are still having a challenge getting the thread through, here's a little tool you can try. This is called a needle threader. I love this. I use it all the time to thread the needle. And it's made up of two pieces. It has this silver part that's easy to hold, and it has this wire loop that um, will actually do the threading for you. So what you do is you take that wire loop and you put that through the eye of the needle, which is really easy to do. And then grab your thread, right? And you're going to put the thread through the big wire loop. And that's also easy to do. And just let it hang down like that. And then you pull back gently on the um, needle threader and that will pull the thread right through for you like that. Okay, so that's a really cool tool Tool. These are very inexpensive. A lot of times they even come in the package of needles, um, but you can get them for uh, 50 cents or less even. Okay, so nice little tool there. All right, so now we have the needle threaded, but we still need to have a knot at the end of our thread so that the stitches that we make don't come out. So you're gonna have two threads like that you're going to even them up, more or less, so that they look like that. Let me make that a little better. There, they look like that. 
And to make the knot, just wrap the thread around your index finger, okay? At the bottom, you're gonna have the two threads together. Hold on to that and pull your finger out. You'll have a loop that looks like that. Then just take the two ends of the thread and pull it through the loop. Okay, I'm doing this through a camera so it can be a little bit backward for me. There we go, through the loop, and then you just pull and you'll get your knot. Okay, so there you have your knot, you have your threaded needle, and now you're really ready to sew. All right, so let's bring this back. And I, you'll notice that I'm not using pins so far, and that's because the felt sort of sticks to itself, so I don't think that we really need them. But if you did want to, you could put a pin in the middle of your work, just like that, to hold it in place. But we are going to be sewing before we cut this out, which is a little bit um, different order, and it comes from doll making. It's a nice way to sew and get really small seams, which is what we're going to want at the end of this. Okay, so now to start, we're going to start in this corner here, and we're going to sew around the curved edge here on each one of the cactus. Okay, we will not be sewing down here at the bottom. Okay, we're not going to sew down here because that's where we will be um, stuffing the cactus. So I'll even put a little mark on here so you, that you know not sewing down there at the bottom. Okay, so to start up in the corner, we're going to start on the back of the felt on the bottom piece and we'll poke around a little bit until we come up on the line. Okay, and then you'll pull your thread until the knot stops it. Okay, so it'll be like that on the back. Then go over a little bit and put your needle back in and push down. Okay, and that will give you your first stitch. Okay, and the goal here is to sort of sew on the line with your stitches about the same size and about the um, same distance apart. Okay, they can even be a little bit um, closer. The distance in between them can be a little bit smaller than the length of the stitch itself. It's up to you. Okay, and you just keep going. Just up and down. Okay, and just stitching on the line. And this stitch here is called the, the running stitch. It's the sewing stitch that most people know already, even if they think they don't know anything about sewing. They still kind of know this this stitch. It's going to feel, I think, very natural for you. So just relax and sew around. The other side of your fabric, of your felt, is going to look something like that. Okay, and you want to make sure that these stitches stay nice and flat as you go. And you're really just trying to stay on the line, and I'm trying to stay in the frame. Okay, and you'll also find as you keep doing this more that you can go in and out like this and then pull your stitch. You don't actually have to pull your thread all the way down each time. So this is something else that you can try. And just take yourself around, again, stitching on the line as much as you can. If you get a little bit off the line, don't worry. Don't think about undoing anything. Just, just keep going. Okay, coming around this curve now. And for those who have been sewing maybe a little longer, you'll know that you can actually put more than one stitch on the needle at a time. Okay, you can go in and out maybe a couple of times. This felt is a little bit thick. There you go. And when you do that and push your needle, you'll have two stitches. So that might be a little bit faster for you. It's up to you. Okay, I'm going to continue right now doing mine one at a time and 
just keep going until you get to the bottom of this curve and remember I said we're not sewing across across here where the X is okay so we're gonna stop right here and I want to show you now how to make a knot on your fabric this time I'm gonna make the knot on the other side because I just happened to come out on this side but it doesn't really matter okay and you can see how the stitching looks so to make your knot on the fabric you will make a little stitch like that tiny little stitch okay and then push your needle through you'll end up with a loop of thread right here take your needle and put it through the loop and then just pull down okay and that creates the knot and now all of these stitches here are all secure so they're in good shape and if you were using a pin you can take your pin out now and you can cut your threads okay and then the next step is to go ahead and sew the um, the rest of the cactus pieces the exact same way that we sewed this one you'll sew this one and then you'll sew this one okay and you can just leave your felt all in one piece until you've had the, all three of them sewn okay and so now time to stop and stitch okay here we are back and I'm just finishing up my last one and I want to talk to you about a couple of things um, now also you see I have just a little bit of thread left on my needle here and I could probably make a knot because I know I make them all the time but if you have just a little bit of thread you really want to stop sewing before you get to this point so that it's easy to make the knot but if you forget and you are sewing and you you have the knot um, still have to make it here's a trick to do it you can cut your thread near the needle right ah, that's from the paint pen sorry about that and um, but it is paint so I have to wash that off I guess um, then take your two threads like that and then just tie them into a knot two times so there's the first one and pull down and then the second one and pull down so that's a second way to make a knot if you need to okay a couple of other hints on threading when you thread your needle you want to have about 15 inches of thread on the needle not too much more than that because then it's easy to do your sewing without your thread tangling when it's really long and I know it's the temptation is to make it long so that you could just sew everything and not have to stop but when it's long it usually will tangle and then you have to take your your stitching out so um, I say just to have a shorter need a shorter thread and then when you are starting to sew when you're getting ready to sew just thread more than one needle right I have like three or four needles threaded every time I start a project that's the first thing I do is thread a few needles and that way as I get to the next step or if I run out of thread whatever it is I just grab another needle and keep on going okay and all of them are about 15 inches of thread all together okay so now we've got our um, we've got our cactus pieces sewn so now we're going to cut these out I'm going to cut them apart first okay so I'll cut in between each one being very careful not to cut my stitches Okay, just like that and I'm gonna make an extra effort to remind myself that I'm not sewing or cutting too close to the bottom okay so now I'm gonna cut just right around 
the edge close to the stitching but being super careful not to cut through any of the stitching because then I would have to do it again and so at the bottom I could clip these threads off a little bit okay I'm gonna cut just a little bit below my line just to be sure that I don't cut anything I don't want to okay so let's do the other two Okay, just coming around and again watching out that I'm close but not too close and then a little bit below that line I can cut a little more there okay there go and now here's the last one this is a doll making trick actually to sew first and then cut the piece out and it lets you get nice small seams like this if you were trying to sew that close to the edge without your fabric moving it would be really hard to do even with felt that that pretty much sticks together okay now let's come across the bottom Okay, so now we've got our three pieces. Okay, and the next step is to sew these, to stack them um, one on top of the other and then sew them together as one unit. And you'll see now that it's gonna start to look like a cactus. All right, so I'm gonna um, put one on top and then this one on top. And I'm gonna sew right down the middle here right down the middle. So I'm going to make myself another sewing line. Um, and this can be very light. So I'm just going to use the chalk. I'm just eyeballing the middle of my cactus. Okay, I want to sew right down there. So I'm going to grab my one of my threaded needles already. I don't have to stop and thread anything. Let's see, I think I'll use this blue this time. Okay, and I'm gonna start at the bottom. You wanna start this at the bottom, and we're gonna do just like we did before. We'll start and push. Oh wow, it came up right on the line that time. Usually that doesn't happen. Okay, so pull until the knot stops the thread. And now this time we're just going to go up and down like when we were first learning to sew this part. Just up and down because we're going through a lot of layers. So just relax and sew straight up and down along that line. Okay, same old running stitch. Okay, let me just bring it in a little bit so you can see a little more. This is what it looks like on the other side. Okay. And I think we have like about three more stitches. And we're going to do something a little bit different when we get to the final stitch up at the top. If you have green thread, this would actually be a good time to use it because you'll see that it's going to, it's going to show a little bit. It doesn't matter to me that it's not um, going to match, but if it does to you, then think about putting doing this one seg segment with the green thread. Okay, so now we're to do ready to do our last stitch. And instead of putting the stitch right there at the end of the cactus, I'm gonna go all the way around the top of the cactus like that, and then put my needle back in. Okay, so you can see it's going in like that and looping over the top. Okay, and then I pull. Okay, 
and then I'm going to make my knot down here and that way it doesn't show at all. Okay, so there's my little stitch. There's my loop of thread. Needle goes through and we pull. Okay, so now I'll cut that. And this is what I meant when I said, now you'll begin to sort of see the cactus because if I put it up like this and pull the pieces apart a little bit, you can see that the cactus segments are formed, right? Yay! So now on the bottom, we have each segment can be opened with your finger like that, and we're just going to put the stuffing right in there. And I'm going to show you how to stuff both with fiber fill and also with just some plastic bags like I was um, mentioning way at the beginning. If you don't have stuffing, you can just use some bags from the store. Okay, so hold on a second, and I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we are. And we have our little cactus segments, and then on the bottom, the openings for the stuffing. So here's a little bit of fiber fill, and you can just open this up with your finger right so that you can just take a little bit of stuffing and just push it right inside okay just with your finger you're just pushing it in it may feel like it wants to come back out but you're the boss of it right so you can push the stuffing in you want to get it all the way up to the top edge of the cactus Okay, and just do it a little bit at a time. Um, it's much tougher really to try and stuff a whole bunch of stuffing in at once than to do, do it a little bit at a time. And you'll get a nice plump little section like that. Okay, now what if you don't have stuffing? Oh, I can cut these little threads off now. There we go. Okay, so if you don't have stuffing, you can use a, um, plastic bag. Okay. I don't know where this one is from since it doesn't have any markings on it. And you'll do the same thing. Open up your segment. Okay. And then you'll just take a small area of the bag. Usually a handle is a good place to start. And just start pushing it in. And I'll tell you something. You'll be surprised at how much of the bag will go into that little segment okay so just keep stuffing it until you're happy with how it feels okay and how it looks and you might even want to get another bag but usually one is enough okay there we go yeah I like that I think that's pretty good okay and then this extra part you can just chop that off Okay, watch out for your cactus. You don't want to chop it. Okay, but chop off the extra and use this in the next in the next segment that you'll be stuffing. Okay, so just push it in just like that. Okay, so I've done two. I have four more left to do. So it's not time to stop and stitch, but it is time to stop and stuff. So let's all stuff the remaining four segments and then I'll be back. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. And here you can see I stuffed um, four with the stuffing and two with plastic bags. And look at the top. You can't see which is which at all, right? Oh, extra stuff in there. Okay, so now we're just going to close these up. And it's really simple to do. Let me start off with one of the um, ones done with the trash bag. Let's see, I've got some more gold thread. I feel like you can see the gold really well. Okay, so you're just going to pinch the two um, sides together. And then we're just going to do the running stitch 
right across. So put your needle in and you can go from the outside in. I like to go from the outside to the center, but you could do it either direction. Also, if you like to do the um, loop over stitch like we did right here, you can do that too. Okay, maybe I'll do that on the next one so that you can see. All right, and then we're just going to make the knot. Okay, that's a little bit bigger than my normal stitch, but it'll be just fine. Okay, there's my loop. And pull the needle through and down. Okay, and then cut that thread. And now let's do one over the um, stuffing. And I'll do this one using the loop stitch or whip stitch, overcast stitch, and it goes by a lot of different names depending sort of on how you're using it, but basically pinching the two sides together. And then I'm gonna put my needle in and go over the top like that. Okay, over the top and pull. Still want to make sure that everything is staying nice and flat. Okay, just like that. You don't have to go crazy. You know, you just don't want the stuffing to come out of the bottom. So now I can just make my knot and that one is done as well. Okay, so let's stop and stitch. You don't need to just watch me stitch these together. Okay, so we'll take another little break and I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, here we are. It's not beautiful, but it's all closed up and that's all that it needs to be, just so the stuffing doesn't come out. And I did the overcast on a few of them and then I did the running stitch on a few of them, of the um, segments. But when you turn it over, you just see a cute cactus, right? Beginning to form. Okay, so now the next step is to make the flower for the cactus. So I have some pretty gold felt here. Okay, and you do want to use um, something that doesn't ravel too much, unless that's the look that you're going for. Okay, for me, I'm going to have something that I don't want to ravel. So this is just gold felt. I'm going to go right into the corner so that I use the least amount of felt, and I'll have all of this left over to make something else with. Okay, so I'm going to get my white pen, and again, just hold this in place with my finger, trace around the outside. I'm not being too careful about the shape or anything, just wanna kinda of get around the outside of it. And you can see I didn't cut a perfect circle. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so it's gonna look like that, right there. And put my pen away. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut this out. And just like I did at the beginning, I like to make this smaller and then cut the circle. Just easier when I can hold it like that. Okay, so then I'm cutting around the outside. And making the flower is really very, very easy to do. And it's fun. You can use this technique for lots of things. Okay, so that's just scrap. I am going to work on this side just because it won't have any of the white on it. I am grabbing a needle that's already threaded and with a knot at the end. And what I'm gonna do is sew four big stitches. These are called basting stitches. I'll show you them in, I'll show them to you in just a sec, but right in the center of the flower. Okay, four big stitches. So I'm gonna start on the back although it doesn't really matter. Okay, pull up and then see how much bigger that stitch is than 
the stitches that we did before when we were sewing the cactus together. Okay, here comes another one. And then there's a little bit of distance between the stitches. Okay, there's another one. And now the last one. Okay, and when I have my four stitches, then I'm going to go to the other side and it'll just look like this. The stitches look, it's the opposite on this side. And I'm going to take my thread and just pull gently on it. And you'll see that it makes a little bump at the bottom here. But when you turn it to the other side, it looks much more like a flower, right? And I'm going to pull this until I can't pull it anymore, okay? And then I can make a knot here and that will hold it in place. So let me just zoom in so that you can see. I'm going to make my knot right there, okay? Tiny little stitch. Nothing is different now. Okay, get the loop and put the needle through it. Okay, there we go. Now I'll cut these off. Okay, now I'm going to get my cactus. I'm going to flatten this out a little bit so that I like the way that it looks. Okay, get my cactus, and I want to put my flower right in the top, like that. Okay, so to do that, it's really just one stitch, if you can believe it. So I'm going to tie a knot again. You make a lot of knots when you are sewing, because you don't want your stitches to come out. Okay, so there's my knot. I'm going to make a stitch right here where I want the flower to go, right, and pull all the way so the knot is there at the end. I'm doing it in purple so you can see. Then here where I have the little bump, I'm going to put my needle through that bump and pull again and the flower will go right down to where I want it to be. Okay, then I'm gonna go back through the cactus one more time and just pull nice and tight. Now, depending on how you feel, you may feel like you wanna put one more stitch through the, um, through the bump on the bottom of the flower. You can do that if you want to, but you don't really have to. And you, once you're happy, just make your knot one last time right there and pull through. Okay. And it's nice and secure. And then you can cut your thread. Okay, so with our flower on, our segments nice and plump, right? Can't tell the difference between the plastic bag and the stuffing ones. That's what it looks like from the side. Okay, um, now we're gonna put some needles on here. And to do that, we're going to thread our needles again. And this time we are just going to use regular thread in them. And I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, we're back, and now it's time to put the little pricklies, the little stickers, uh, onto the cactus. And so I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's super easy. And for this, we're going to use some white or cream-colored um, thread. You can use heavy-duty thread, you can use floss, whatever you have. 
but you just will take your needle and when you thread it, again about 15 inches worth of thread, doubled, but you don't need a knot for this part, okay? So what we're gonna do is just go to one of the spines that we sewed when we were first making the cactus. Okay, you'll take your needle, put it through the spine, just like that. Okay, in fact, let me zoom it in a little bit so you can see better. Okay, like that, pull through, and you're gonna pull until there's about an inch or so of thread hanging um, off the end like that. Then bring your thread around, your needle around, and go through one more time. Okay, and just pull that down. Okay, and then pull it nice and tight. And then we're just going to make a little tie over. So you'll go around, bring the thread through. Even if you get one of them, that's probably good enough. And just pull. And that makes sure that nothing comes apart. Okay? And then we're just going to snip these off. Give them a little haircut to the length that you want it to be. So I like mine short and kind of realistic looking. So just like that. And you're going to put about three, two or three on each spine. Let me do one more for you. Okay, so again, here's the spine that we sewed. Grab my needle. Okay, I'm going to go through the spine. Okay, and pull until there's a little bit left, about an inch, okay, maybe a little more than that, just so that you can tie it. Okay, and then come through one more time in just the same spot. Okay, pull nice and tight. And then tie. Okay, I'm trying to keep this in the frame, but it's funny if you could see me, I'm doing everything upside down. So there we go. I'm going to do that. Let me redo that one. Okay. So now I'm just going to tie it over the top like that. Bring the two threads or one of them through. Oh, I got both of them that time. There we go. Okay, and then just pull nice and tight. Okay, and then we give it a haircut. Just trim it down to the length that you want. Okay, maybe a little bit shorter. And you'll have a chance to trim it more later when you have them all done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put two or three on each one of the spines. Okay, put another one there maybe, and then I'll be back. So we'll both be stitching, so this is a time to stop and stitch, and I'll see you back in just a few minutes. And here we are. Okay, so there we have the cactus with all the little spines on it, all the little prickers, right? So now you can just put it into a container. And if you like your prickers to be a little bit thicker, maybe like this one, then just use floss. Oh, I don't know what I did right there, but just use, use floss instead to make your stickers. And then you just cut them the same way, your little prickles. And there are different things that you can put the cactus in when you're done. So here, I have it in a little lid, a little can. Okay, you could put it in the top of a candle. I also have a little pot here. Okay, this is plastic, um, it's not ceramic, so it won't break. And just put them inside. 
and there you have your little waterless cactus plant. Hey, this is a little bit of burlap at the bottom. I'm gonna take this off and show you how to put it on, and then you would have everything that you need to know to make your waterless cactus. Okay, let me take this off. Okay, and this is just a tied ribbon. So you would just take your piece of burlap and you can fray the edge if you like and it's a lot of fun to do and you just take one piece of um, strand of the burlap and pull it out. It's like creative destruction. It's so satisfying, I'm telling you. Okay, then just put your pot in the middle. Bring the sides up in no particular way. Okay, just bring them up around the sides of your pot so that they look kind of like that. Okay, and I'm not going to be able to do this with, I need an extra hand in order to do it, but I think you can get the idea that once you have that in place, you'll just grab your ribbon and bring it around and then just tie it in the front okay so you'll make your tie right there just tuck all of the edges in like that and let's see I might actually be able to attempt a tie okay like that and we're just gonna make a bow And there we go. And there you have it. The Waterless Cactus Project. And let me see if I can make it any further out. I don't think so. So I'll have to do that in a second frame. So I'm going to bring the camera up and just tell you a few more things. And then you'll have it. So be right back. So hi again, everyone. Hello, hello. Again, it's Ellen. And here's the project that we made, the Flowerless Cactus Garden. And if you enjoyed it, I hope that you'll share it and tell your friends about it. The video will, will be available um, on the library website for, well, I don't know, they, they usually have it for three or four weeks, and along with the written instructions that will walk you through how to make it. And if you enjoyed the um, project, I have lots more. You can always visit sewitworkshop.com to see some of the other projects that we have. But this one is one of my favorites. Everybody really loves it. And um, it just goes to show all the cool things you can do with just a needle and thread. So um, again, enjoy it. Tell other library card holders to check this out and make up a little something special and personal for their own desk or their own space. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, yeah, and if you have any questions or anything that uh, was not clear, feel free to email me. You can email me at ellen at sewitworkshop.com and in the subject line, just put your library name and the cactus garden and I'll get right back to you. Um, and also, I would love it if you make the project and you wanna send a pic of it to me. Um, I'm happy, I love to get those, and I will post it on my Instagram and let everybody um, see your great work. So again, thanks so much, and happy sewing to you. Take care, bye-bye.